Hi, this is Amy from Crochet Jewel Channel, and I'm going to show you how to make a pretty but simple baby blanket. This stitch can be used um, for shawls and scarves and afghans or anything like that. I'm using a G hook with the Sparkle Red Heart yarn from Walmart, and my chain count is going to be an odd number, and you can make that chain count up to 42 inches for your length for a blanket and I'm using a turning chain of three, so plus three after you have your odd number count. I have a blanket and afghan uh, playlist down below if you'd like to take a look, and please subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so let's get started. Okay, slip knot onto your hook and create an odd number for the chains and create them somewhat loosely, not too tight, and then plus three for a turning chain. However, you can do a plus two for the turning chain too if you like. Okay, so with an odd number, I'm going to work in the third chain from the hook, a single crochet. So yarn over, pull through two loops. So insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, and pull through the two loops for a single crochet. So I did an odd number for my chains. I added a plus three for my turning chain, and I worked it in a third chain from the hook. Like I said, you can use a turning chain of plus two after your odd number for your chain count. Work that single crochet until you get to the end of the row. Start with a chain two for the next row, then yarn over, and then in the next stitch, work a half double crochet, grab the yarn, pull through all three loops on the hook, and then yarn over and work another half double crochet, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through the three loops. Looks like this, and then skip the next stitch, and then work two half double crochet in the, in the same stitch, and then repeat that across until you get to the end. So you will skip the next stitch, and then work two half double crochet. And in this video, I'm using an H hook. You can use any hook that you like, although I do recommend a G hook. If you want a looser stitch, you can go up on your hook size. Okay, you're at the end of the row here and skip a stitch and then work a half double crochet in the last stitch and then chain one and then work a single crochet in each stitch across. This is a repeat and then the next row will be done in the half double crochet. Okay, so then you're going to end with your single crochets. Make sure you keep track of all of your stitches so you have enough. You're not going under the amount. Then chain two and turn, and this is just all repeat. Half double crochet, two half double crochet in that next stitch, and then skip, and then work two half double crochet. And then this is the pattern that stitch looks really pretty and when your hook size is a little bit smaller it can look even more detailed okay so this is what it looks like it has a really nice stretch to it this is the um, one side of it. it looks really pretty with that metallic sparkle and then this is the other side it really stands out too i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and please subscribe